<sighs> okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she... gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. Did she get turned? Do you know? When she didn't follow me over, I didn't have the guts to go back and see for myself. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way, too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. I hope I did the right thing. Let's hope we did the right thing, people. I think you did. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. By the way, welcome back to more of The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? Yeah, where is Kenny? Did he just walk off? Oh, he's inside the tent. Alright. He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's... Done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. 
I think if it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. And I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. <sighs> I always gotta do everything, but let's just go talk to Kenny and see what happens. Hopefully Sarita isn't dead yet. God damn it, wait. Hold it. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. I'm sorry, Kenny. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katja. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Maybe one of the others can look at it for you. Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? <clears throat> well, we should see what's going on. Don't tell me. Her water just probably broke. Now she's going to have the baby. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh Christ! Oh uh, shit! I don't know what we should do. Oh fuck! Well, what do we do, Kenny? Thank God! I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her too. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. Babies cry when they're born. It was gonna, it's gonna attract Museum. a lot Seems of zombies. Like be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay then. Kenny, you uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah. Sarah. You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mike a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I don't know if Jane will come back. I think she's scared about the baby. That's what I was afraid of. That's why it might be a good idea to have you go with her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Shit. Don't worry. We're gonna go with Jane just to make sure nothing Jane. happens. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. Oh, 
Hopefully she just doesn't take off on me, man. I would really suck. I would suck so much. So I guess we just keep walking straight. Is that her? I can't tell. It's like the longest walk in history. Jesus Christ. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. I hope this place is what we're looking this for. This is going to be tragic. A God lot of shit is going to happen. I can already tell. So many things are going to happen right here. So let's just be prepared. Get our fingers on these buttons and these analogs and get ready to run. I got a feeling that one of one of the members of our group besides Sarita is going to die. Check this out. This gate's still locked. Which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh... It wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Making an observation. Alright, so let's see if we can find anything to bust open the motherfucking garage door. Find anything? No, not even trash. Give me a goddamn minute, lady. Shit. nothing in there so let's just I guess look out here Clementine looks so depressed she's been through a lot man up oh, telescope why is there even a telescope right here though that's the question why is that even sitting there it's broken we could use that drop it on it but whatever not gonna give me a suggestion Yeah, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Has to be something around here. A cannonball, maybe? You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fell in with cement, so they're safe. Shit. So what is that I get? I don't think there's anything around here. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Who the fuck is that? coming this way and who knows if he has friends nearby why is he coming up here no idea but we should scope him out and see what he's up to I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others we've got enough on our plates with a baby coming we should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone good call Shit. hide now
putting something in a trash. Let's just wait and see what he does. Should I talk to him? I don't know if I should just say something or should I just stay quiet? I'm just a kid. Please don't hurt me. Do you understand me? Yes. I'm Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, a little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Put the gun down, man. Back up. Good job, Jane. Put the bag down. Good job. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear. Anything? Wow. That's it's a serious, lot of medicine, man. That is no, 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 a no, no, lot no. of medicine. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh... I need to keep it... I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are Vuri! Hey! We've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it! Clementine, we need people that stuff! People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special! Clementine, yes, you must We don't believe, believe a me. fucking word about your sister. Jesus Christ. My oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Enough. Oh yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm I don't know. The truth. I swear upon we got to I don't believe Fuck. any of this. Medicine, Clem. I don't know what to do, but I, just, I pressed B. I gave him back the bag. I'm not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. That was pretty fucking panicky. I didn't know what to choose. Is that Luke? Looks like Luke. Yeah, that's Luke. Clem. All right. Clem, hey. Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. 
You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Yeah, he always tries to do the right thing. But he's not the same anymore. Well, I'm glad you see it too. Even though I hate to talk about Kenny when he's not here, I he is kind of broken now. About the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. 